and, and discipline is, is huge. It's so huge. And all, all the successful people of the world, if you were to dissect them, and obviously you've spoken with a lot of people on here, guys, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a pattern. You've probably seen that there, there will be disciplines that people have, rituals they do every day. Mm. And that's why they're successful, right? Because they're, they're programmed in. It's like we, we, we do things every day consistently and we commit to them over time. And that's where the results come. You don't just get them overnight. As humans, we like the path of least resistance. We're lazy by nature. Mm. We, are. We, we, we don't want to be in pain. We don't want to be discomfort or uncomfortable. We like our comforts. But I think when you're forced into a position and you're forced into a situation where you have to grow and you have to take action, you have to do these things, otherwise there's a consequence, we step up. And that's one thing I had to do in Iraq, which was like wow. the scariest thing ever. And yeah. it's like, I was kind of like a new, a newish guy of the, the troop, but I also had the qualifications to do it because I did on a course wow. before going out to Iraq. So it's like, Taff, you're up. There's a potential minefield. You have to clear the lane. So I'm like, mega, <laughs> wow. I have to go and clear it. Woo. It's like yeah. back Jeez. then there was not really, this was the thing. It was like, you had to get on your belly and <laughs> feel, feel oh, around wow. and look around. This is like, like not pretend this is like real. There's like minds, wow. here, you know, I, I remember exactly what it was. It was something uh, that Jim said about um, how we all fall into our like safety blankets and our safety secure routines where if you really took those breaks off and you went out and you, you, you've seen how much potential a human being can have by uh, taking those breaks off, putting yourself in different circles of people, learning from people who are already like higher up and successful in the world and you put yourself around them rather than staying around your usual circle, you know, all these things can happen as long as, <laughs> as, long as it's coupled with action, right? So it's like you, you can't, and I say this to a lot of our clients, you can't sit in your chair at home or in the garden and just like, you know, not, <laughs> everything's going to cut it. No, it, that, that's not what it's about. A lot of people believe that that's what it is about, but you have to visualize what it is you want and where you're going. Um, and that in itself is kind of like the law of attraction because you start to put it out there into the field, right? It's like, well, this is what I'm going to have. This is what's going to happen. But I'm, what do I need to do to get there? And this is the yeah. steps I need to take. And when they come together and you have the law of attraction, law of action, and they both come together, you can do anything. Well, Bill Gates says it, doesn't he? Everyone needs a coach. You know, and it, it's, it's just smart. First and foremost, it's a smart thing because one, we self-sabotage ourselves without wanting to, but we do it as, uh, as human beings. And I think when you have a, a coach, especially if somebody who's done it before knows the mistakes, knows the pitfalls, knows what works, knows what doesn't work. When you have someone who's done that over many, many years of you know, experience and you can shortcut all of that pain and struggle, and you can get it straight from the front and say, well, don't do that because that doesn't work. You can shave like years off a learning curve. You can save so much money. You can get to the result a lot quicker because of it, you know, and, and having a mentor or a coach in whatever area, you know, it's, it's very, very smart. Um,